So guys, how many hours should you trade Forex? I'll be very honest with you, you're not supposed to trade Forex for more than 10 hours. Personally, I used to trade Forex for like 14 hours. I'll just get up every day, early in the morning, 3 a.m., GMT plus one, that's in West Africa, and just be looking at my charts. So this will cause me to have fatigue by 12, by, by noon, I'm only tired. I'm only tired. And I've come to realize that there are some traders that don't trade for more than four hours. That is something that is so, so spectacular on how disciplined they are when it comes to forex trading, which is something that we all should implement if you know what I mean. What I'm saying is that we're not supposed to be trading for a long period of time because it causes us to be less effective. I think um, for pro traders, they can decide to flow with the London and the New York session as the close of the London session in the overlap with the New York session, they close all their trades and they move on. That's what I'm saying is that you can trade from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. GMT plus one. So I think it's very, very good for us to be disciplined when it comes to Forex trading. Also, the timing, the time in which we trade because some people can trade for only four hours or let's say maximum two or three hours they're done, Why others can place their trade and keep it for the whole week or for one month and they come back and close their trade. So there are different styles of forex trading, okay? But I think the most effective is that you should be very, very precise with your entries and your exits and make sure you trade for just maximum eight hours, 10 hours a day. Don't extend it for, let's say, you start, you start training from 5 a.m. and you can you go right to 5 p.m., 8 p.m., no, no, because it will give you brain fatigue. It's good for you to just keep your eyes on, on the chart maximum one hour, two hours. Place your entries. You put your alerts when there's any breach. You just come back and you check your trades. I think we shouldn't take trading as something that we should glue ourselves to the computers or every single day to look for entries. No, if you can just master two pairs, one pair, you find the market direction. You enter your trades. You close your trades when it hits or take profit or stop loss, whatever. I think it's much better than compared to sitting on, on the computer. You have like 10 pairs which you're looking at and you're looking for the for good entries. No, I don't think it's that. And most of the time, you're not supposed to be trading every single day. You have to give yourself a day off in those five days. Personally, I don't trade much on Friday because Friday is more of like a losing day for me and I don't want to be losing every single Friday. So on Fridays, I don't really trade much. Maybe though sometimes I trade in my accounts, my real accounts but i don't really like trading much on friday because it's not really a good day for me but mondays to thursday in fact monday is my best day my best trading day i always make money on monday tuesday wednesday thursday to friday i don't really like you know trading on those days so i think days of trading is important i think also market timing very important you have to know when to enter the market and when to close the market because we're out to make peeps so you don't want to enter the market when the market is not moving when it's not volatile when it's volatile it's much good for us to make money from the market so when do you trade which time do you trade and which pair do you trade drop it down in the comment section thanks for watching bye